Hey ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday and the Tops package has arrived. It came early today. Pretty pumped. This is the Tops 3D. So gonna get into this a little bit later, but gonna get into the what is it now? Seventh pack of the Jumbo Hobby. We already pulled our auto, so if you didn't see it, it was the uh, Geo Urshela. Who is no longer on, now he's on the Twins. So pulled that uh, last pack. Went ahead and moved Mike Trout up and Shohei, my favorite Shohei card up to the front. Cause I'm hoping to pull, they got a image variation of Shohei, an image variation of Trout. Um, Julio Rodriguez is in here, which would be a sick card to get. Um, but any of those cards, Bobby Witt, I would take. There's a bunch of cards in here I would take. But can't wait to see them live. I like the design. I like the 3D action on there. I've been watching a couple people open them and pretty pumped to actually see it for myself. But let's get into this pack. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, my son had his first baseball game on, on, um, on Sunday. They played at 245. And he his first at bat, he uh, they throw him three straight balls. They're, these kids are six years old, six and seven years old. So they threw him three straight balls. It's hard for them to get their strikes down, but three straight balls and fourth pitch comes in and it's a strike and my son's ready for it. And he rips it up the middle. They throw it. They try to get him out at first. They overthrow. He rounds the base, goes to second and they throw it to second and they, they kind of overthrow it. And he, Rounds to third, but then they throw it to third. The third baseman catches it. Throw. He stops, turns back, throw, goes back to second. They throw it to second. It goes over the second baseman's head into the outfield. He heads the third and uh, rounds third and heads home and score, slides into home. Scores. Didn't need to slide, but they always slide at home at this age. Slides into home. Scores. Scores. And... Uh, so basically, you know, with all at that age, we just call it an in the park home run. And uh, it was the first run for the team. They were getting, ooh, they were getting shut out um, before that. So it was pretty. It was a pretty sweet moment. It was like in the third inning. There's 14 kids on the team, so he got up. He was uh, batting 10th, and so he ended up getting two at bats total eventually, but. I was like, Kyle Lewis, this was a big card at the time. But I'm pretty sure he's having a bad year. Let me check him out real quick. I think when that card came out, it was a big card. Yeah, Kyle Lewis batting 143 with 56 at bats. And he's in the minors. So maybe he just needs a stint in the minors to get things together. But uh, yeah, I'm still gonna sleeve it up though, just in case he manages to find his way back to hitting good. Maybe he can talk to Julio and he can rub some magic on him or something. Bubba Starling, rookie. So, and then he played catcher for an inning, which was cool. Um, I was pretty worried about it. He's never played catcher before, but he seemed to like it. I asked him after the game he's, if he liked it. He said he did. So it was pretty cool to see him. My mom showed up and uh, and her husband showed up. His grandpa showed up, and uh, it was it was a good time. I felt like he brought the luck. His they're they're on the OKC Dodgers. So in the fall they're like a minor league team. They just do minor league team names, and uh, and they are huge Dodger fans. So. It was pretty cool to, for him to be there and to watch it, and it was awesome. And then Brooks, he's on his son's on our team, the one that gave me the bobblehead back here, and a couple of those cards I got showed you guys. He his son was there, and he he was our leadoff batter. He's really good ball player, and um, on the All Stars he was like our starting shortstop. 
but he had a great game, got a hit, and he comes up to pitch the last inning. And the first, th there's a five run limit in our games, and the first game, the first inning, we got zero outs. They just scored five runs on us. We pretty much walked five runs in, and then the second inning, we got one out. And then the third inning, we were able to finish the inning with minimal damage. And then um, my buddy's son comes in and pitches in the last inning, gets three strikeouts, completes the inning. I think they might have got one run. Because in that league, once you get on base, um, you pretty much steal second, steal third. <laughs> And you're you're in line. You can't steal home yet, so they don't they won't allow that. But you're pretty much in position to to score right away. So I think he I think he walked somebody, and then they stole all these bases, got around, and then someone got like a grounder. But man, to see his son throw those strikeouts, he looked so pumped. He was, it was it was awesome. It was it was a pretty awesome game. So it was a pretty good Sunday. Got to watch some great football on Sunday. Um, can't believe the Bengals, man, McPherson had two shots to win the game and both bad snaps, I guess the snapper, I don't know, but both bad snaps and he got one blocked and then the other one has just threw his timing off. There's the guy, Aaron Judge, that would have been a sweet auto or at least a parallel or something, but he's the man of the hour right now, leading the, uh, the MVP talk, so. But Shohei's putting up a fight. I wouldn't mind seeing Shohei MVP again, but that's just my angel fan personal opinion. I, I'm sure I'm a little bit biased. But yeah, the football games were pretty sweet yesterday. Didn't see the angel game, but hold on. Looks like our music stuff. But it looks like Moniac, Moniac had two hits. Otani had a home run with two hits. So Moniac's only batting like a what is this, a one eighty one batting average, but it seems he seems promising. Him and Sierra, they're both like in the one eighties, soaking it all in. Don't think I've seen that card yet. I think that's the first time I've seen that card. That's cool. Soto. Man, Soto and Machado. Those two, I have a feeling, are gonna turn it on in the playoffs and do some do some big things, but we'll see. It just feels they got that confidence, that swag. And when those big games come up, I, I you know, they're not backing down from the from the uh, from the moment. Soto, he's already got a, a ring, right? So I think that's going to be... I think they're going to be better than pe people thought they would be, even without um, Tatis. But I'm still pulling for the Dodgers. If the Angels can't do it and the Dodgers are in there, I'll pull for the Dodgers. I still want to see them do it. I want to see Kershaw get another one. Kershaw's a legend. I mean, Verlander's a legend, Kershaw, Scherzer, DeGrom, all these guys, all these great pitchers. It's going to be, hopefully they're all healthy and they're all pitching. I wish Bueller was pitching, but it is what it is. But hopefully everybody's healthy. We just see this great pitching and people coming up clutch in the hitting. We got the gold out of this card out of a pack, the Zach Wheeler. German Marquez, we got an inception card of him. All right, we're coming up to the juice, Jake Lamb. Let's see if we got any cards off the back first. Andrew Heaney, now on the Dodgers. Don't think he had a very good start the last one out, but he's out there. He's gonna be on a playoff team. Bobby Bradley. That name sounds familiar. How's Bobby Bradley doing? Does anybody know Bobby Bradley? Let's see. He's doing terrible. Got in the 118, only had 17 at bats this year. Career 199 average. 
Yeah, terrible. All right, let's see what we got here. Off the back again, Daniel Murphy. All right, we're, we're, we're to the thick of it. Let's see what we get for our rainbow foil. Minnesota Twins team card. That would have been sweet if it was a Angels team card. Behind him is another team card, a bunch of celebrations. Nico Horner, rookie card. Is this a short print? I think it might be a short print, guys. Nico Horner, he's having a good... And then the Cardinals, Decades Best back there. I'm pretty sure this is a short print. We have to check this out because I have a Nico Horner rookie card and it's not this one. Let's check it out real quick. That's cool. If we get a good short print rookie, that's a nice pack. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what, what the number is on the back. You guys, I can't see that. I gotta get the, I gotta get the jewel. <laughs> There's just no way I can see it. All right, it's usually 69 is the number on the back, I think, on these. This one is 84. 84, so definitely a short print. Variety. Let's just see which variety. Real quick, gonna check it. I got it pulled up. What's the parallel number? Say the show. Usually there's a spot where it'll show you what the what the numbers on the back are. <coughs> I don't see it right now. <coughs> Hold on guys, let me Google it, let me see. All right, the variations checklist, let me see. <clears throat> I think we said, I said 84 was the number on the back, right, 84? So yeah, it's a regular short print. Ooh. Got a tickle in my throat, sorry guys. <clears throat> one second, one second. All right, sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that, guys. Crazy tickle in the back of my throat for some reason. Right from talking. All right, Decades Best 2020, 2010s. St. Louis Cardinals. I'm assuming Pujols is in there somewhere.
Alkaline. Oh, that's an old school card. Let's see what the years are on the back of this. I don't know this tiger. Holy. You guys, I'm going blind. I have to go get some glasses or something because these dates are just tiny. So in the 70s, so starting 56 all the way through to 74. Alkaline. Hopefully I'm saying the last name right. And it's not like Kalina. Alkaline. Let's look him up. Two ninety seven career batting average, a ninety two point nine war, three hundred and ninety nine home runs. That guy was a monster. Damn, Kyle Lewis, you gotta take a seat, bro, because we got three D coming up. Three D is gonna take over. Let's just put this rainbow foil in the slate in the sleeve. All right, guys, let's get into this box of 3D and see what we got. Shohei variation, Trout variation, a Julio. Or none of the above. We'll see. Let's get it. Sorry the video's running a little long, guys. But just excited about this opening and don't want it to end. If I can get into it. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got. A little foamy pack at the bottom to protect it. Nice. It's very thoughtful of them. It's only a couple cards. Let's see what we got. cards all right first one out is Miguel Cabrera oh, that 3d action is pretty sweet man it looks really good in light in real life holy cow I recommend everybody go out and get one of these behind him Pete the masher a polar bear, a moon blaster, Mr. Pete Alonzo. I got a neighbor who I call Pete Alonzo because he reminds me of him. He's a strong dude. Behind Pete, we got a rookie. Is that Vidal Bruhan? It is. Not the Tampa Bay Ray I was hoping for, but we'll take it. I don't think he's having that great of a year. But that is pretty sweet looking card. A St. Louis Cardinal for the next card. So no angels so far. It's going to be Juan Yepes rookie. That's a good rookie card to get, right? Juan Yepes. Let's see if he's still killing it. Batting 252, 11 home runs. He's doing all right. So that's a cool rookie. Another rookie card. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? What's the team? Can't tell. I can't see. I can't see it. A Seattle Mariners rookie card, you guys. Seattle Mariners rookie card. 
All right, we're gonna save that one. Off the back, George Springer. Who else is a Seattle Mariners rookie on this in this uh, in this release in in series one and series two? <sighs> killing me, killing me. All right, rookies off the back. Josiah Gray. These are the. Uh, Rookie class motion cards. So it has like a full. It's got some motion to it. All right. And then we got Bobby Witt. Yeah. Sweet. He's gonna fit in a normal sleeve. We got the wit. Mr. Bobby Wit. So no Angels cards to go with my Bobby Wit auto. Whew. That's a cool card. 3D cards are pretty sweet. All right, let's see who <coughs> our Seattle Mariner rookie card is. It would be bananas if it was the guy, but it's a long shot. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. I just got the chills, guys. I just got the chills. Holy moly, guys. What? Julio Rodriguez. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just hit the rookie card Julio. Not the, not the rookie class motion card, which is easier to hit. Oh, you guys, I got to get this in clean, clean, clean. Oh, no freaking way. Look at him holding the bat like a beast. He's got such easy power when he swings. It's ridiculous. Oh, you guys. Freaking sick. Julio Rodriguez, boys. I got him. I didn't get him in Series 2. I didn't get him in Series 2, but I got him in the 3D. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Thick top loader for you, my friend. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, man. Oh, man. What a box. Dude, they sold out already, but they were 20 bucks for those boxes. I was like, I got to try it. So out of that box, we got Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, class action, motion, whatever you call him. We got a Juan Yepes rookie. We got a Vidal Bruhan rookie. Who was the other motion that we got? Josiah? Josiah Gray rookie. You guys... 3D. Holy moly. I am a fan. Juan Pez. Josiah Gray. Let's get these rookies sleeved up. We got a Pete Alonzo. A George Springer. A Vidal Bruhan rookie. And then a, a freaking... Classic veteran, dude. Miguel Cabrera. What a box. But the star for me is that Julio Rodriguez. All right, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the comment, Dylan. I appreciate it, man. It's been fun going through these and ripping for you guys. Um, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, Chrome comes out on Friday. Not sure when my Chrome will arrive. But as soon as it does, I'll get to ripping it. 
Um, still have a hobby box looking for the Shohei rookie card too. Still have to finish up this 2020 uh, jumbo hobby box and we still have the silver packs. I was going to do a silver pack today, but because the 3D came in, I, uh, I decided to do the 3D because I just couldn't wait. But hope you guys are all doing well. I'll probably do another vid tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.